yes, this is right. IRCC is going on strike. Hello friends, this is Satvinder Bhatia from Sukhmani Immigration Services, Brampton, Canada. I am a regulated and licensed Canadian immigration consultant. Today's video is very very important and very special because today we will be talking about IRCC going on strike and how it can impact you and your files. So before that, a small request if you are new to the channel and have not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. We talk a lot about Canadian immigration news, update tips and tricks on this channel. If you like the video, please share it with your family and friends so that they can also benefit. Please press the bell icon so this video comes to you immediately when we upload. So without further delay, let's get started on this important video about IRCC strike and how it is going to impact you. So IRCC is going on strike and as per the government CIC website, right here is the information. So now the first question, who actually is going on strike? Now IRCC, it's not just the IRCC. So it is a union, a union which a federal government employees union. And this union is called as Public Service Alliance of Canada, PSAC. So this PSAC has a French arm also. French arm and it is called by the name Alliance de la Fonction Publique du Canada. So this French arm and PSAC together are going on strike and they have more than 160,000 employees. So almost like 160,000 employees are going on strike. So it's a big, big, huge number. And all these employees, when they go on strike, of course, the functioning will impact. As I said, PSAC and the French arm AFPC. So together they are going on strike. Now, you got to know who is going on strike. Now the question is, when has strike started? A strike has started yesterday, April 19th. And you will ask how long it will continue? Well, I don't know. And nobody knows. For now, it will go indefinitely. And indefinitely means there is no end date to it. So now the question is, why these guys are going on strike? What are the reasons? Well, the primary reason is money, of course. A money which without you and I cannot survive. Nobody can survive. So wage hike, that is the major reason. Inflation is a worldwide phenomenon. Everywhere, every country, inflation is a worldwide phenomenon. And so also here in Canada. So wage hike is something they deserve. They are looking forward to it. Now, they also, in addition to the wage hike, they also look for better work-life balance. They are also looking for reduced layoff and workplace inclusivity. So all these things, but major is wage hike and wage hike they are demanding 13.5% over three years period. But government is giving them only 9%. So there, that is the difference which is there. Now you got to know the reason why these guys are on strike. What are the department impacted? Well, it's not just IRCC. So there are a number of federal departments which are impacted. Few of them I am naming here. So before proceeding further, remember to subscribe. And these departments, of course, IRCC, CRA, which is Canadian Revenue Agency, Passport Canada, ESDC, which is Employment and Social Development Canada. Sometimes it is called Service Canada also. And ESDC is very important because ESDC process your LMIAs. So if ESDC goes away, LMIAs will not be processed. CBSA, Central Border Security Agency, Canadian Border Security Agency. So RCMP, Royal Canadian Mounted Pol Police. So then you have Transport Canada. So all these departments, they are going on strike and many more. But for the 
purpose of this video we are focusing only on IRCC and how IRCC is services are impacted or not so first of all let us see which services are available so apply online so online services all online services are available as it is so mail if you mail applications to IRCC there are some applications which we have to mail there is no option but to mail so yes those mail options are still going on you can mail them they will be accepting the mail online accounts you have online accounts gc key or any other kind of account that will work as it is and emergency services will work your visa application centers which are called vac visa application centers outside of canada will be working as it is and the settlement services they also will be working as it is so these are the services which won't be impacted are available for all the people but what are going to be impacted so the first and the foremost thing is when people go on strike who will process so processing applications definitely there will be a delay there will be delay because the processing speed will go down so after pandemic during the pandemic time we really faced lot of problems there was very slow processing you know honorable minister tried his level best and you know for now it came up but again with this strike processing speed will go back so yes that's what it is access to information uh, act request aitp request the gcms request particularly so those will again will be delayed in person citizenship ceremonies so you take a oath and then you do the ceremony that will also will be not there and contacting ircc well i have a complete video which tells 10 ways of contacting ircc it's not easy believe me contacting ircc is not easy but it will be further impacted it will further go down so yes it will be tough to reach out to these guys uh, in person appointments any kind of in person appointment will be impacted and passport canada passport services in canada will be impacted so these are the impact which will be there now question is what is the solution well, solution is beyond your or my hand. So, the, they are trying to come to the table, do the bargaining. In the meanwhile, you can apply as it is like, you know, we, we are open, we are closed. We can keep applying for you uh, online. So, but the solution between the government and the union needs to happen. And the bargaining, if the bargaining happens, there could be a middle road. So if both parties agree, then probably a middle road can be there. If not, then government may agree to these demands. The other choice government has is they can come up with a back to work legislation, which is not very easy because it is a coalition government. It is running with the support of another party, which is NDP and NDP already said they are not going to support any kind of back to work legislation so we'll keep you informing keep you update as we always do we'll keep you informed about what's happening till the time we are open we are open to process all your files we'll keep submitting your files online if you need to discuss your case with us you can book an appointment and our office one and only is located in Brampton email ID address phone number everything is shared right here with you very important if you have still not subscribed to the channel please consider subscribing our team puts lots of effort in making all this content for you so thank you very much for watching the video thanks